right feet in a standing position and then we're gonna hip hinge into a power stance go ahead beautiful beautiful nice job excellent work guys excellent work great stuff great stuff nice knee bend nice strong back good core excellent work stand back up again beautiful very nice hip hinge into a power stance position beautiful pushing those knees forward hips back hands are loaded beautiful nice weight forward onto the balls of the feet well done well done all right now all right so hip hinge and now we're going to swivel into k yeah and hold it just swivel into k and hold it not too far not too far with that push so again i'm gonna we're gonna get you to yes and then when i tell you to go yeah okay good 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 yeah difficult isn't it keep that keep that chest up right keep that chest tilted forward that's right good really use the core to support into a power stance now we're gonna flex into swivel into a reverse k that's it good okay just Good. Make sure you flex that leg, flex that ankle, flex that knee. Now you're pushing the knee out, you're not flexing it in, right? So what I mean by that is what you're doing is you're kind of, you're, you're rotating and you're flexing this knee out. I want you to rotate and flex the knee in. So now you got that nice K alignment, right? a little bit better that's a little bit better like load it up feel like your leg is loaded and ready to push right loaded and ready to push that's better good job all right hold it up hold it up start right from the beginning standing good hip pinch good and t push all right okay you see that so where do you where do you where do you want to let me where do you want your stance to land in the crease? Show me where you'd like to see the the stance landing in your crease. Back a little bit more. Your toes are way out too high. It's a bad angle, right there. That's a good place to land. Right there is a good place to set up your your center and square on the puck. Okay, good. All right, so let's do that again. Back over here, center and square on this face off dot. Lead with your eyes and then go. Good stuff, good stuff. Back again, go back to your starting position and go. Good, nice, nice torso tilt. Way to lead those hands into the shooting lane. Let's see you lead those hands with a nice torso tilt. Well supported by the core, go. Good, you see how your elbows are coming in? Relax the elbows a little bit. I mean, I'm not talking about flaring them out like you're a, an eagle, but just don't tuck them in. It just forces you to kind of close up too much. Go back again one more time. Keep those elbows. That's much better, much better. Open up that glove side elbow a little bit more. Yeah, not, that's it, that's it. No holes, you don't see any holes. Right, see where your hands are right now, your elbows are? Try that one more time. I want you to keep them in that position as you come across. You ready? Go. Oh yeah, nice work, Cameron. Nice. Standing, and then you're gonna go into your power stance, hip hinge into a power stance. Beautiful, and pivot and push. Okay, so a lot of loss of balance there, wasn't there? And I'll tell you why, one of the reasons is I looked at your eyes as you were coming across. They were looking down to where you wanted to go. That's gonna throw your balance off and it's gonna make you lose sight of the play. So as you're coming across with your eyes, keep them up. Take them, take your eyes, lead your eyes to where the puck is going to be over by that face-off dot, okay?
Good. Let's do that again. Nice. And push. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, you're a little bit bigger goalie, but it won't hurt to land your stance up maybe about four or five inches closer to the inside of the top of the creek. Yeah, back right there. That's good for you. That's a good spot for you. I think that's a good spot. You got good coverage. The the uh, the shooter is not going to see a lot of your negative space, right, of the net. Ready? Nice, nice, yeah. So take a straighter line to that, right? Take a straighter line. Don't look at it. Just adjust yourself mentally. Right, that's it. Take a good look at it. Know where it is in your mind. And now, go. Better, much better, much better. All right, let's see that one more time. Uh, actually, probably a couple more times. Let's do that again. Nice leading of the hands. I like the spacing of the hands. The hands are pushed forward nicely. Good job. Go. Uh, that's all right. That's all right. Good job. Mistakes, right? They're good. Mistakes are good. They help us learn if we make the corrections. Oh, yeah. I like it. I like it. Give it to me one more time. I like the way you're leading with your eyes. Go. Oh, yeah. So right now, though, you're not quite center. You're not quite center. Let me just adjust myself, make sure. So see where I'm standing? So right now, I can see a lot of your blocker side. A lot of negative space happening over there. Much better. Much better. So you see where you're landed? That's where you want to stop. Try that one more time. All right? Good awareness, buddy. Way to think about it. A lot better. A lot better. Come out towards me a little bit more. Right there. You see that spot right there? When that puck is at this face-off dot angle, and maybe even a little bit down here. Right? Good. Right there. You got that overlap with the foot because where we are. Now it's going to change, right? As we come down... You're gonna suck back a little bit, no more overlap, and now you can use your options of either just post side standing, uh, VH or RVH, right? VH is an option too, okay? Good stuff. All right, excellent work, guys.